Between my photography and YouTube uh, video hobbies, I oftentimes have my USB ports on the front of my computer completely filled. In this case, it's a couple of cameras I was downloading and my audio. Uh, also then, sometimes I need to use a USB thumb drive and I'm just out of ports. Also, there's another problem. Let me get these out of the way. This is an older case and I cannot upgrade it. Uh, they don't make the replacement parts, but I've only got one USB 3 port over here. That's the blue one. And then I've got two black ones, which are USB 2, which are slower. What I found was this thing. This is a media, what do they call it? Media dashboard. And you can open up your drive bay, uh, like for one of these uh, CD-ROM drives. And you can put this thing inside there with all its wiring and you end up with eSATA USB 3 times 3 a type C uh, USB and then it will read all sorts of memory cards which I thought would be really great um, so yeah instead of replacing the case and trying to get one with more USB ports I could just add this thing so let's go put this on the bench and I'll talk about this one and another one I got and some other options I had this is the media dashboard I was planning on putting in my computer and we can see here that it has eSATA USB 3 times 3 You can see the blue color of the, of the uh, USB ports. It has a type C, which would be nice to have. And then it has like micro SD and all these other type of uh, memory card readers. And then it has a, an LED light that tells you if these are reading and writing and so forth. So let's see what it takes to install one of these with all these wires and all. It looks like there's a lot of wires going on here, but there's only three things you need to plug in to make this work. And one of them is the blue. This is the USB 3.0 uh, plug, and it has two cables that come into this one plug. But you uh, put it in one place and it handles all of the USB functions, uh, the USB 3 functions. I should be clear on that. This is the USB 2 and it's marked USB on there and you plug that into your USB 2 port. Uh, and this is the SATA, you plug that into SATA and it handles all the, uh, those functions on this media interface. Uh, again, I'll show you uh, where on my motherboard you plug those in. It may vary on yours, but at least it'll give you some idea. This media dashboard seems to do it all. I mean, it has, it has a little of everything. It has your microphone, your headphones. It has your standard, uh, the old fashioned PC power plugs. It has USB three. There's two uh, blue ones here. There's two USB twos here. Those are the black ones. There's four more USB twos over here, SATA, eSATA, and then all the different types of memory cards, uh, available. So it's kind of like, wow. Now, it's also got a few more cables. Let's look at those. This media interface has more functions and therefore more plugs and they're fighting with me. So we'll go over them one at a time. This is the USB 3, as I think you can read there. This is the old style disk drive power plug. And yeah, just the four pin power plug. This one is audio and that supplies the uh, microphone and the uh, earphones. This one is USB 2 and then it's got two SATA plugs that uh, one needs in order to utilize all of the functions in this box. To be honest, one of the reasons I'm not using these boxes is because I'm out of these plugs on my motherboard. <laughs> so yeah, um, the best laid plans of mice and men. I thought this was going to uh, solve a lot of problems for me. And in fact, uh, it wasn't very useful. There is one other thing. Uh, it's kind of the, I promise you the good, bad, and the ugly. Well, these are the good functions that you can uh, increase your USB plugs. Uh, you can upgrade them to three and so on and get more of them. Um, but let me show you what I was planning on doing, which kind of fell flat and uh, yeah, didn't help me at all. What I was planning on doing was adding one of these expansion cards into the PCIe slots, and I'll show you one of those in the motherboard. 
uh, and I could plug in this interface from the uh, from the media uh, dashboard into this plug right there and I would end up with two more USB 3's on the back and then I would activate all of those on this dashboard in the front and I would end up expanding the total number of USB 3 ports that I had. Okay, well that sounds really good in theory, but uh, here's where a theory hit reality. One thing is that this board requires its own power supply and yeah, so you have to plug this thing in, which was a little bit of a shocker. And the other thing is that some of these come with the software on the board. This one did not. You download it from the company. It was bloatware. I think it had, you know, uh, junkware in it, you know, where it starts downloading other stuff for you. Uh, but that, well, that was, yeah, that was not good. But the real killer was that it increased the boot up time of my computer by three times. So yeah, instead of being real quick to come up, uh, it, uh, it just, it, it wouldn't go. And I tried operating this uh, with just the native Windows drivers and it sort of worked except my computer would not shut off. It would just go into this infinite reboot, reboot, reboot mode. Yeah, so when I loaded up their stuff, it just, yeah, just bogged everything down. So yeah, if you could use just the uh, front media dashboard part without uh, expanding, needing to expand your USB slots, uh, that would be pretty cool. Okay, so I promised you that we would go look inside the computer and see where all this stuff plugs in. And let's go do that. This is my motherboard and you can see some familiar things. This is the memory here. Uh, this is the main power over here to the board. And then we have a SATA, a SATA, and then this thing is the USB 3 plug right there. Uh, off to this side over there is my audio. So if I was going to use that uh, audio plug, my audio is right behind there. And what else can we see from here? Uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to have to shift the camera around to see the rest of it. And then I can show you about that PCIe card. This is the backside of the computer. We were just looking up that direction uh, where the USB 3 plug was. That's that direction. And back here, if I can get my hands out of the way, are the PCIe slots. There's one and there's one right there. Um, and this board would plug into this um, like that. And then I could bring my other, that new USB 3 cable plug it into here and theoretically I would expand the number of USB 3 slots I had in the whole computer. Unfortunately, as I discussed earlier, this thing was just, you know, making stuff unstable and it was slowing everything down. Uh, it also required extra power. It had its own power cable, which you plugged in up here and then it went over there and yes, it would not operate without that. What else is interesting since we're back here? Um, we have this is my USB 2 and then there's already a, a port there for additional USB 2. So if I just wanted to expand USB using that media dashboard, I could do that. But for me, it, you know, more USB 2s was not interesting. Okay, well, I've made uh, these mistakes so you don't have to. Maybe it'll work for you if you've got like an older computer where the uh, front just doesn't have enough ports on it or you, you want to... Uh, You've got the slots on your motherboard and you want to use things like SATA from the front of your computer or USB 3, USB 2, whatever. Okay, well, hope that was useful in your computer experimentation, expansion, or whatever you're doing with it.